What's going on guys? I am Pat the Pac-Man. I decided to shoot a video about how to feed properly because one of the cases I was working on today, as a matter of fact, was about a dog that had become food aggressive. And a lot of the reasons why dogs become food aggressive or they just become really excited about food, and that's really technically the reason why they become food aggressive is because they, the overexcitement of the food and the association of the, the feeding ritual, the food preparation time, the food presentation time, the um, the food itself has a very excited association. So it just builds, 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 builds. It gets them really, really get going. I associate that to like a car that has the parking brake on and the gas pedal's floored. Typical dog training techniques focus on the body, what the body's doing. They don't care about what the brain is doing, but it's really the brain that's really excited about the food. And so now you have a dog that's waiting for that food and they're like, okay, give me the damn food. Give me the damn food. Give me the damn food. And then all of a sudden you say, okay, go ahead, bam, and the dog takes off. It starts eating all that food. It's got to gobble it up because part of the problem is that they uh, associate it with a lot of excitement, but now they're also wondering, hmm, is this food going to be taken away from me? So what we have to understand in our minds is that we are the providers of food. The food is ours and we are sharing it with our dogs. So the whole premise of it is that we supply the food, therefore, in their mind, it does not matter if somebody takes their food away because guess what? We will provide more. Now, you have to understand that in order for that to be effective, then your dogs have to see you as a source of authority, as a source of respect, as a source of trust. They gotta see you as a leader. They have to see you as a source of protection, a source of providing, a source of direction, a source of guidance. If they don't, then they're not gonna trust and respect you. So even if you as their dog owner goes near your, their food, they're gonna let you know, don't do that. So the whole premise of it is number one, the food belongs to us. We are providing you food. Therefore, you don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is just relax. All you have to do is just be calm, okay? The second point of this is that we want the process of feeding, the food itself, to represent calmness. We don't want the food to represent excitement. We also want the food preparation period to represent calmness. We want the food presentation to represent calmness. So all that, all that, all those activities, all those, um, those behaviors, all those um, circumstances have an association of calmness. Now, I'm going to demonstrate exactly how to do this with, with, with Socks and Pepper in a second, so you'll see exactly how the process goes, but I want you guys to practice the two exercises of patience and calmness where the tree comes down. Okay, we'll hook, up, hook you up with some links so you can take a look at that video. So the exercise of patience where the, the tree comes down to them and the food comes down to them, but also the eye contact exercise. The eye contact exercise is crucial with this whole thing because the eye contact is basically them staring at you, the source of food, the provider of food, not the food itself. So what happens is you got to understand, focus on the eye contact. Now in the beginning when you're, when you're practicing this, obviously if you're, using those, if, you're, if you're practicing those exercises about eye contact and about patience, then you're going to go into the, ru the routine of uh, short distances and short times which is a consistent and constant evolution. So in this particular case, when it comes to the feeding process, you know, as you notice, I could stay in there for an hour and they'll just lock on to me and wait for me to pr provide their food. In the beginning stages, you want to be faster. You know, as soon as you get that eye contact, bam, you give them the food. So it's a split second. While you're teaching, it's a split second because you don't want the frustration to kick in. So as soon as they look at you, bam, you put the food down. There's no waiting. There's no wait, stay, all that bullshit. There is none of that. It's as soon as the food is provided and given to them after they have asked permission, I know Suckster, after they have asked permission by eye contact, then here's your food, okay? So now I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how to feed a dog using my babies. So what's going to happen is if you notice, Socks and Pepper are just nice and relaxed and calm, okay? Of course, Pepper is always the food whore, so she's like ready to eat as always. She's like a big fat Sicilian pig like I am. Anyway. So, calm behavior, I'm, I prepared the food, they were at a distance giving me respect and calmness. So now I approach them with food, okay? I have my balls right here and I bring the food to them. Come on, come on socks. So here they come. Now if you notice, eye contact on me. My balls are dangling by my wayside and the eye contact is on me. Look at those babies, look at that eye contact. Look at that eye contact and then, the food goes down, and then they eat the food. And if you notice, side by side, 
no issues. I was really close, no issues. That's how you want it to be. So this way they know that they don't have to protect their food. They don't have to guard their food, okay? Eye contact, very important. You guys have any questions on that? Let me know. Catch you guys next time.